new season of the National League. Welcome to our BBC Surrey online listeners and welcome to our NLTV viewers. I'm Rob Worrell, alongside me is Steve Gibbs, the former Aldershot Town media manager. And the teams are out here at the EBB. The shots will line up as follows. Marcus Dewhurst in goal, Ollie Harfield, skipper in the side, Christian Maghoma and Luke Jenkins, the centre-backs. Ryan Jones and Tyler Frost, the wing-backs. Cameron Hargreaves and Theo Widrington in the centre of midfield with Kai Corbett, Josh Barrett and Hadi Gandur ahead of them. Will they be one of the very few sides ever to bounce straight back up to the EFL? Well, we'll see, but they have kick-off. They're kicking towards the East Bank end in the first half. And uh, a couple of swings and misses already, one notably there from Christian Maghoma. When the game was stopped. Yeah. That's Jed Ward, by the way, not Jed Ward in goal. Aldershot have won it, Hadi Gandor into the area, shoots, goal! And we said he might do it, and he has! Not a single goal in pre-season for Hadi Gandor! But he runs to the bench, he celebrates with the players and the manager who backed him, who put him in the starting lineup. And he scored Hadi Gandor in the seventh minute. It is Aldershot Town 1, Forest Green 0. Steve Gibbs. From nothing, a chance. And Hadi Gandor re did really well. One touch to get it out from under his feet, open up the angle and then he fired it really confidently, precisely through the hands of Jed Ward, over Jed Ward, into the net. That's the sort of confident finish that Hadi Gandor needed. He needed a goal, he'd done everything but score in pre-season. One in the air by Widrington, Frost turns it inside and finds Cameron Hargreaves. Hargreaves up to Gandor, holds it up, goes back to Hargreaves. All shot, keep possession, under a bit of a press from Forrest Green. And then Jenkins changes the direction. And they're pinging it about with a little bit of confidence. Maghoma's pressed too hard and has to go back to Dewhurst, who clears his lines. Forrest Green win the header, but can only find Cameron Hargreaves. Barrett picks up a loose ball. Sees Gandor on the left, takes it nicely in his strike. Can he get it onto his right foot? Tries to finish! What a finish! What a finish from Hadi Gandor! 13 minutes in, and a dream start for Gandur, a dream start for Aldershot Town. He's foraging in the left-hand side of the penalty here, and all of a sudden he just tries a clipped right-footed finish with the outside of his foot. He lobs Jed Ward, he hits the back of the net, and with just 13 minutes gone, it's Aldershot Town 2, Forest Green nil wow wow goal of the season contender after 12 minutes i'm not ruling it out excellent play from josh barrett driving through midfield played exactly the right pass gandor had it then he didn't quite have it and then he had it again he had options he looked up i thought well he's made a mess of that cross and then suddenly it became a delicious lob from the tightest of angles over ward underneath the crossbar, nestling into the far corner, and suddenly it's an incredible goal. This is, this is horribly unkind, and I apologise to him. I think there are two Hadi Gandors, the one that played in pre-season and struggled for goals, maybe looked a little bit out of his depth, and the Hadi Gandor that has started this afternoon started absolutely on fire. Forrest Green cannot cope with him. As it stands, um, there has now been an away goal scored, and that's by Rochdale at Boston. Ball through the middle, looking for Gandor, he might have a chance here, surely. Ball inside, Corbett squares it, Barrett. Oh, he hits the foot of the post. Tremendously unselfish play from Gandor and then Kai Corbett. And Josh Barrett, the nearly man, as I've been calling him lately, hits the post. Here's the quickly taken free kick from Forrest Green, headed away by Theo Widrington, headed on by Ryan Jones, but he can only find Osadebi. Osadebi is... Uh, found Adam May, ball forward, taken down, edge of the area, Harfield should get there first, does, and he doesn't concede the corner, but his clearance only finds Long, Long, back, cross comes in, missed by a couple of people, hooked into the net, Forrest Green have got one back, through the number five, Ryan Innes, 
and Aldershot Town with a perfect start, 2-0 up inside the first 13 minutes. Well, here we are, back at the EBB, no clean sheet. Forest Green have pulled one back, shots two, Forest Green one. Excellent hook finish from Innes as well, he had to improvise, the ball dropped to him at, with barely a split second's notice, and he controlled that one, could so easily, particularly as a centre-back, could so easily have launched that onto the roof of the East Bank, but he controlled it really well. And I think that one, if it had been, then might have been deserved. It's Forrest Green coming down the right, ball inside. Shot from distance is brilliantly saved away to his left by Dewhurst. The shot came in from Charlie McCann, it was on target. Terrific save from Dewhurst. Uh, decent crowd in. Oh, lovely slight touch from Gandor. Gets him away from Toza down the right side, pulls it back. Corbett sweeps it in early, but can only sweep it straight to Adam May. Uh, good win from Cameron Hargreaves. Theo Widrington wins it back, ball into Corbett. Corbett, clip ball over the top, looking for Barrett. Oh, tries his shot, it's blocked by Jed Ward. And uh, all the shot have won it back, and then they're offside. But Mr Widrington, you might have to get your ex-assist in for Josh Barrett as well. Lovely flick ball over the top. Barrett did well to get the shot away, Steve. He did. But he hit it straight at Jed Ward. As you say, back five of Forest Green with Adam May sat in front of the back three as well as an extra shield. But Corbett there, he turned onto that pass with a bit of impetus. He was always going to shoot. In the end, it was always rising over the bar as well. But certainly, I think he's shown some good signs in this open. Oh, good header on. And Forrest Green are in here, clipped towards the goal, and it lands on the roof of the net from Kyle McAllister. Blink. And it could be 2 all, but it isn't. It remains 2-1, 43 minutes gone. Lost down the line for Corbett. Tries to hold it up, goes down, loses it. Tries to win it back. Osadibi's won it back. Forrest Green, ball around the corner. Terrific ball to McAllister. Indies in at the edge of the area. He's going to try a shot. Oh, it's gone straight through the legs of Marcus Dewhurst. And just 47 minutes in, two minutes into the second half, Aldershot's two-goal lead has been wiped out. Aldershot Town 2, Forest Green 2, Steve Gibbs. Yeah, slack again from Aldershot Town. Forest Green were able to build a little bit too easily from the back. And then McCann was offered... Uh, McAllister. McAllister, sorry, was afforded far too much space in that right channel. Harfield, a little bit standoff, then wasn't able to get back into position to recover and make the block. And then the ball arrowed straight through Dewhurst's legs into the net. Both goals disappointing for Aldershot Town this afternoon. You'd say maybe they had one hand on the three points this afternoon. Now they've got to do it all over again. Who made his debut for 45 minutes last uh, week here at the EBB. And Tommy Widrington not waiting an overly long time. There's a ball through the middle. Is McAllister offside? It's not given. Back onto his left foot, squares the ball into May. I beg your pardon, it's slotted away, but surely, Steve, there's an offside. It's not been given. Forest Green have taken the lead. We were level with it, Steve. It looked like a clear offside to me. It hasn't been given, and shots have gone from 2-0 up to 3-2 down. 57 minutes gone. Excellent play from Forest Green. And you've got... You've got those players that have got that quality that that know their way around higher leagues than this and when you've got someone like Christian Deutsch up alongside you you lay the ball off and he does the rest here's Widrington coming forward little back heel into the path of James Henry Henry carrying it forward getting to the edge of the area now spreads it out to the left to Ryan Jones Jones with the ball in to the feet 27 shot oh it's a shot from Henry, he got a deflection on it, it still went agonisingly close to the Forest Green goal, and it ended up behind the goal for a corner to shots. All the shot have the ball with Luke Jenkins just inside his own half. Feeds Mag Homer, who finds Cameron Hargreaves. And uh, Forest Green, who struggled to score goals last season. Conceded too early on today. Has he got a lovely ball around the corner? Gander into the left hand edge of the penalty, pulls it back. Henry! 
James Henry on his debut levels for the shot in the 80th minute. 3 3, 10 minutes to go. And the new season is back here at the EBB. All the shots out three. Forest Green three. Steve Gibbs. What a lovely finish from James Henry. James Henry, a player who's always had that happy knack of arriving at the right time, the right place, just ghosting into the area. And he raced onto that one as the cross was pulled back. Finish, side foot, but lashed it past Ward into the net. Suddenly the ebb has its verve back. It believes again. 3-3, three, three. where the game goes from here, who knows? Here's Jones, might get in on the left side, squares it. Henry beats one, squares it, shoots. Oh, saved low to his right by Jed Ward. Huge opportunity there for the shots. They've got another corner. Colin Hayden in Tenerife says, many thanks, Rob and Steve, for your commentary. Looks like it's going to be another fun season. Forest Green through again, no offside given. Circum shoots, parried away, cleared away by Tetek in the 94th minute. Big chance for Circum. Ryan Jones has a free kick in the attacking third. Could they? In it comes from Ryan Jones. It's over everybody. And they've kept it in, have they? Yes, pulled it back. Gandor, ooh, bringing it down and trying an overhead kick. He's got to the ball first. He's held it up against his man. The final whistle's gone, and it's ended 3-3, and Steve, I don't know what to make of it. Half of me feels gutted, the other half feels that it's a thoroughly well-deserved point for the shots, and the entertainment has arrived back in North East Hampshire for the season ahead.